Hey guys, so today we have a, a really cool review of the Rocco EV charger. Um, this one is a really unique charger for many different reasons, but if you come on in here, we can kind of look at the screen. Um, so there's an app involved, so you can connect this to Wi-Fi. As you can see, there's a Wi-Fi connection there. There's a delay, so right here you can delay with the press of this button, you could delay up to 12 hours. You could change your current. So right now it's at 48 amps. You could go six amps, eight amps, and so on. So you can control your amperage based off of whatever's in your electrical box. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's plug this into the Cybertruck and we could kind of look at what the Cybertruck is telling us, what this screen is now telling us, and give a quick little review of the charger. Um, so one thing about this, which I like, is the fact that it has a J1772 plug. So you will need this, if you're using it for a Tesla, you will need the adapter, but that's a quick and easy on off. Um, so that's nice. And I like the versatility, the, the ability to charge other, uh, electric vehicles other than Tesla with the J1772 is nice um, and then obviously every Tesla comes with the adapter so you can use it with your Tesla. Um, it does come with the 25 foot long cable which is nice. Comes with this little handle to keep the cord all nice and neat. Comes with this parking station for the actual plug which is nice. So it keeps everything nice and neat. You don't have you know, your, your cord hanging down and, and messy, creating a, a big mess for yourself. And it's long enough to where, like right now, we can reach around the, the truck and not have any issues. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug it in. Now, here's the cool part about this charger, which I haven't mentioned yet. So one of the really cool features about this charger, which makes it unique and something I think that would be of interest to a lot of people, is the fact that we're plugged into the Cybertruck, but it's not charging yet. You can see here, it's flashing green, just indicating that it's plugged in. And right here also says EV connected, but it's not charging. And the reason for that is because you need an RFID card, which they give you two of them in the box. And you come up to it, it beeps, the light turns blue, starts flashing blue, and now it goes into charging mode. So the thing I like about that is you can install this outside of a business, outside of your home, apartment complex, um, town home, whatever the case may be, and you can have it installed outside and unless if you have one of these cards, you can't use the charger. So no one's gonna be able to just plug in and use your charger and use up your energy. And um, so I think that's really, really cool. Um, and so now when you come and look at the screen, you can see that it's uh, at 190 volts, 48.8 amps. The temperature is 109 degrees. It shows you how long we've been charging, 47 seconds, 9.33 kilowatts. And it shows um, how much energy it's put back into the Cybertruck. Now let's do this. Let's go ahead and jump inside the Cybertruck and see what that's telling us on the inside. Okay, so we're inside the Cybertruck. You can see that uh, we're charging at 186 volts, 48 amps. Um, it's saying I'm at 58% and it's saying it'll take us two hours and 50 minutes to get to 80%. If you download the Smart Life app, it's a super easy process to get set up. Um, it automatically, when you click on add device, it'll automatically find your charger. Just enter in your Wi-Fi password and it connects seamlessly. So it's really easy, super simple. And then when you come into the app, it gives you some information, some data, and you're able to kind of just mess around and, and, and do some extra things within the app. So I think that's pretty cool too. So that way if you're inside your house, or in my case, this is at my business, um, if I'm inside, I can monitor and, and know what's going on with my um, charging session. Obviously with Tesla's, you can see that in the app as well, but um, you know, for anybody that doesn't have a Tesla, they want to have that capability if their car doesn't have that, an app, dedicated app for them. So that's also a pretty cool feature in my opinion. 
So what I think is the best feature about this charger, and I think what it sep separates it from maybe some of the other chargers out on the market is the fact that you have that added level of protection and security with the ability to have the RFID cards. So now you're limiting people's access to your charger and your obviously energy. Um, one thing also, if you're worried about someone just pulling the charger off the wall, there are screws that you add in in the installation process that lock it into place so that way someone can just walk up, pull it off and, and walk away. So once again, this is a great solution and option for those that need a charger mounted outside because of the RFID and the screws on the actual unit. So if this is something of interest to you, if this is a good option for you, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link down below in the description for you to go ahead and purchase. Thanks guys.